Ow Ow YouTube. So right here we have a longboard and we'll do it electric. So to make it electric we need to get of course the board and a bunch of other parts or you can just purchase a regular board and you need to buy all the electronic things. To run your uh, skateboard or longboard as electronic you need to purchase specific wheels that can handle mountain kit to make it spin also you need electronic speed controller powerful one I get 120A censored from uh, this brand also you need a programmer box that can program electronic speed controller and you can do it perfect smooth speeds you need a lipo balance charger you need of course a battery I get zippy I think it's 5000 amperes yes 5000 a very nice one also you need to purchase remote controller I got this one the cheapest one I don't care you can buy a more smaller one for a trigger and of course you need to get brushless motor the powerful one I got all it in one kit like this motor and the mountain kit also you need to get thread lock blue to make sure every screw is very tight on it this is standard shock and this that I grinded with my tools you see the difference so the circle can go in and I drill holes for the mount alright right here we have 83 Meriwether wheels and we have uh, a mount with a motor, brushless motor how you can see it's not going in so we need to sand it or grind it with any tools you have I'm using this one so let's do it So now we need to send down right here on this piece and this piece should be right here. So the wheel with the mount will all fit proper way. Take your time and done it correctly. Also right here we get a lipo battery buzzer. So when electricity goes down it will beep. We get anti-spark for the battery and we get connector from bullets to T-plug let's go ahead and take out everything from boxes and start building it up This is the charger, we just pull it on the side. Also, you need to get a cover for all the devices. So I find these, it was from electric scooter. It will fit perfectly for this, drill holes and just mount it under the board. Receiver
controller itself very nice I like it I already put batteries in it right here We get some programmer and uh, double tape that we need to use. Programming box for ESN. It comes with USB cable and box itself. Just like this, very simple. You plug your, uh, you can even do battery check on this. You plug your ESN right here, plug it to USB, and the thing will pop up and we can program the ESN. Right here we have spare cables for it to do all the operations in the manual. Electronic speed controller itself. Very nice quality. It's waterproof too. Have a button to auto program it. But we still need programmer. Manual included. Right here we will get the most important pieces. Belt. This is two pieces amount for a wheel. Mountain screws. Let's mount the wheel kit first. And then we'll work on the board. To do this, we need a socket like this. You can use a hand tools, but I prefer to use electric ones. So for this, we will take a wheel. We will place this piece behind it. You can see through holes. Then you put a mount kit on other part take one first screw go from behind and mount it then you need to make sure that alignment is going good Do it, don't uh, tie them up that hard at the beginning, just make sure all of them go in. looks perfectly so now tie them up I will use a thread locker on this because this is the wheel and it's enough screws for it 
one of the wheels are done now we will start building up skateboard itself I'm using like almost a long board but I like it it's curved in perfect for riding we use more updated pads I will speed up the video and just put all the things in. I forgot to put this piece, put another bearing, just like this, easy. Then you great. Now let's compress it. Looks good. Piece at the back. Piece on front. But now actually I will put holes matches. Thread locker. We will be ready. Spinning great. Thread logger installed. Maybe we will let put a little bit drops here. Let it dry. We will speed up the video. Let's install other bearings. All wheels are ready. Right here. Now we will assemble the main mounting kit coming like this with a lot of little tools. Do not lose it. So this is the most important piece. It connects right here. I have three holes around. I drill it already. You can buy it pre-made, already welded. You need to make sure it is 90 degrees, all flat, not bented, not angled. It's very important because this piece We'll go here and it will have motor mount on it and it will keep us moving. Alright, let's set it up. We'll have 
three screws right here. They give you keys, so you can do it by hand. So this part, these bolts go inside of it, and I have a thread already. It will go through these holes, and it will be on lug nuts right here. Let's take thread lock. and put it all over that part mark the holes then what we need is to install these pieces that will go in Running on different socket. Now I'll use two tools to tie it up 